welcome back to the happenings of us tim and nicole here hey we're just going to talk to you a little bit about our most recent trip to lake somerville state park stay tuned to see if we found that bald eagle Lake Somerville State Park and <clears throat> what what's been some what's a good takeaway from this trip for you um a good takeaway we spent the majority of the day yesterday hiking and it was absolutely beautiful we did like eight miles no 11, 11 miles, miles. <laughs> yeah I don't think we realized we were going to do that when we started but it was amazing we got to do lots of different trails saw all kinds of different wildlife and as you can hear lots of birds here which is really cool a lot of birds yeah a lot of birds. and so we we uh we stayed here in the birch creek unit and then yesterday we drove over to the nails creek mm -hmm. unit of lake somerville state park then both parks are actually connected by the somerville trailway uh, which has like there's over like 40 miles of hiking oh, yeah. here in, yeah. in, the, in the state park and so and you can do equestrian if you want and they have like an equestrian campsite which is a primitive site yeah. which is really cool it has corrals at each site to where you can corral your horse that's, yeah that's pretty cool we haven't seen that anywhere anywhere yeah so that was pretty cool had the had the horse lover in nicole wanting to hop on somebody's horse yesterday yeah better watch out <laughs> so um uh, with, I mean, as you hear, all these birds flying around. Yeah. Um, and so it, it's just been amazing to see as all these robins and orioles and that woodpecker just landed up there. You can probably hear him in the background. <laughs> but um, uh, a negative, there's not too much negative, um, but I guess the if, improvements that it, could it, be made. Improve, yeah. We'll do it that way. An improvement that could be made is um, the labeling of the, the trails. Yeah. Uh, the trip. If we would not have had a map, we would have been lost. So if you wouldn't have had your map reader with you, you Cor would have been lost. Correct. <laughs> Most definitely. Because I just took off on the trail. Didn't even think to grab a map. I was just like, oh, we'll figure it out. I would have been lost. Uh, but uh, that, that was... That's about the only negative we could say. I mean, the fishing wasn't that great, but that was because the lake is low, and very low. The, I mean, they, the, it's just, you know, low, and it was cold when we first got here. It's warmed up now. Yep. Forties um, the first night. It's got up to in the seventies yesterday, so it's been pretty nice weather. Mhm. Mm uh, but. Uh, Overall, it was a good experience. Yeah, we spent two nights here. I'd come back. The Absolutely. campsites are really nice and open, which is great. So if you have kids or need a tent and a camper or something like that, there's plenty of space and room to do that and not feel like you're intruding on someone else's space. And there's trees all around your space. And so it's really private. It's nice. As you'll see in this video different clips that I've taken and like I took a a clip of our campsite, the 360 of it, and you'll see what what she's talking about. There's other 
campsites that are actually connected with a trail in between. Mm -hmm. uh, our our campsite is right here next to the family fish pond. Um, so it's, it's been pretty cool. Yeah. Um, yep. We have enjoyed our time. We've seen, as we mentioned, the birds. Like, we've seen lots of birds. Mm -hmm. uh, we've seen some, some heron. Mm -hmm. We've seen... Seagull. Lots of red birds. Lots of lots of red birds. Seagulls. W mentioned the woodpecker, the the robins. Uh, we we seen uh, the red tail hawk yesterday. We saw that falcon yesterday. Mm -hmm. Which is beautiful. But I I think what they're wanting to hear is if we saw the bald eagle. Well, last night we took. What, almost a three mile hike yeah. in the area where there is known to be a bald eagle's nest. But we were unfortunately able to see the bald eagle this time. Um, not it, able, unfortunately not able to see. It, what did I say? <laughs> able. Oh, <laughs> unfortunately we were not able, not able <laughs> to, to see the, the bald eagle this time. Um, but I would encourage you to come and, and try to see if you can find the eagle yourself and yeah. let us know if you if you find the eagle uh they there are there are some bald eagles that live right here around lake somerville here in texas which back in 1971 there was only known to be like five mating pairs or five i'm sorry five bald eagle nests in the state of texas and now there's estimated 150 and so they're on a re resurgence now that they're you know, they are protected by mm -hmm. state and federal law. So it's nice to know that the bald eagles are making a comeback. Um, <laughs> so we'll quit rambling on, but that's that's our take on Lake Somerville State Park. And we 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 uh, hope you enjoy the video. And, we, and you should check it out. You should check out Lake Somerville State Park. Either the Nails Creek unit, the Birch Creek unit, or, or both. both as we say in unison all right we'll we'll catch you later bye bye for videos like this and more check out our socials and hit that like and subscribe button